Hi everybody, I hope you all had a really lovely holiday. Um, in today's reading lesson we are doing our reading B4 task, we've done quite a lot of these before. Um, I'm going to read the text um, to you and you can have a look at the picture too and then I'm going to read you the questions and you're going to answer the questions under the B4 task arrow. Um, we have not learned about um, this book or this strand of our FFT before so don't worry if you find any of these questions tricky, just give them your best shot and try and do it as independently as you can please so just a little bit of help from me reading the text and the questions and then have a go at answering them on your own our strand is inferential understanding this time um this one is a little bit different to the ones we have done before because the questions that I'm going to ask you, the answers might not be exactly in the text. So it's about having a sensible guess about what you think the answer might be rather than knowing the answer. You will still be able to find some evidence in the text though if you want to um, and you might be asked in the questions to find some evidence in the text as well that makes you think what you think. So if you would like to get your pink highlighter at the ready or whatever you'd like to use instead at home um, then you can do to find some evidence as well. I am going to read the text and then I'm going to read the questions and then it's going to be over you to have your best shot at them. Um, this text is from Meerkat Mail by Emily Grabbit and that is the book that we're going to be looking at for the next couple of weeks. Sunny is a meerkat who comes from a large family. They work together, play together, eat together, learn together and sleep together. In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes Sonny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sonny wishes he could live somewhere else. So he packs his suitcase and writes his family a note. Dear everyone, I'm off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry mum, I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives so I'll be quite safe. Love from Sonny. P.S. I promise to write. On Monday, Sonny visits his Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob's family make him feel very welcome, but Sonny just doesn't fit in. And here is the picture. Okay, we are going to answer our questions under our B4 task arrow. I am going to read them to you um, and then you can pause the video at any time to have a go at them and then carry on playing whenever you would like. Um, also, if you would like to listen to me reading the text again, feel free to rewind and um, listen to it as many times as you want to. You can listen to the text and the questions as many times as you want. Okay, 1A. Why does Sonny wish he could live somewhere else? Tick the best answer. So you have to choose the best one of these three. Why does Sonny wish he could live somewhere else? His family sometimes annoy him. It's too hot in the desert. Or his family will not play with him pick one. 1b. How do you know? Copy a piece of evidence from the text. So you have to find some words in the text that helped you answer question 1a and write them down on these lines under question 1b. That's why it's 1a and 1b because they're sort of related to each other. This one is the question and this one is asking you how do you know your answer to this one. Number two. Why does Sonny write his family a note? Tick the best two answers. You have to tick two of these that you think are the reasons why Sonny writes his family a note. Because he is leaving, because he doesn't fit in at Uncle Bob's, because he has forgotten his suitcase, or because he thinks his family will be worried about him. Tick two of those. Number three. Uncle Bob and his family are nice to Sonny. True or false? Number four. Why doesn't Sonny fit in? This one is quite a tricky one. Um, you need to have a sensible guess at this one. This is one of those sensible guess ones because it doesn't exactly say in the text. Um, have a go at writing down why you think Sonny doesn't fit in. And number five. Um, you have to finish the sentence for this one. Sonny is trying to find a new something. You have to finish that sentence. Sonny is trying to find a new. 
and once you've done that year ones you'll be sorted with today's B4 reading task. Um, we will send you your mark on teams out of seven. Um, don't worry if you found it tricky, don't worry if you don't get many right, it doesn't matter at all, it's our B4 task um, so it's just having a bit of a go really and seeing how it goes, it doesn't matter how many you get right at all.